great Monday to all of you. This is ZNS News Now. I'm Shanique Miller. Minister of National Security Tommy Turnquist responding to calls for him to resign. This after making comments to Rotarians last week that some magistrates have been too liberal in granting bail to repeat violent offenders. Well, Turnquist reaffirmed his determination to serve out his term. He also announced that when Parliament resumes on October 5th, the government will announce new anti-crime initiatives designed to ensure that a dent is put in crime and to ensure the safety of all Bahamians. BPSU President John Pinder, who was facing stiff competition in Friday's union election, hopes that he's re-elected. Today, Pinder says he hopes to complete his agenda, including completion of the work on the union's East Street South and Soldier Road building and implement agency shop for members. Pinder told ZNS News that some government employees have already begun receiving increments as promised by the government in the budget. Today is Fire Safety Awareness Week, and for the year, there have been 18 fire-related deaths here in the capital in Grand Bahama and Eleuthera. The week of activities opened with an exhibition at the Mall at Marathon. Now, the week's theme, don't be in doubt, no two ways out. The Bahamas Chamber of Commerce now has a new help desk designed to assist small and medium-sized businesses with human resources, training and management challenges. Ian Ferguson of the Chamber Institute says, so far, the response has been encouraging. This is ZNS News Now. I'm Shanique Miller.